When someone is dealing with a difficult loss, I'm often asked, well, how do I know if I'm grieving or I'm stuck in self-pity? When you're grieving, it can look like you're having a pity party. It's normal to want to withdraw and lick your wounds. You may even want to go to bed and pull the covers over your head and stay there. I know that's how I felt when I grieved. You might have times where you think you're the only one in the world who is suffering. But here's the difference. Grieving is about protesting the pain, feeling all the emotions, and slowly working through your anger, sadness, guilt, shame, frustration, whatever it is you're experiencing. And that takes time to recognize and verbalize those feelings. It takes time to talk them out, journal, and pray about what you're experiencing. In contrast to grief with self-pity, you're excessively dwelling on yourself and your problems. To avoid self-pity, there needs to come to a point where you begin to refocus on something or someone other than your pain. Unhealthy self-pity is when you refuse to see the little things you can be grateful for, even in the midst of your suffering. Self-pity is resisting the thought that one day somehow God can bring something good of what now only looks awful. On the other hand, I have to say, self-pity is not about whitewashing your misfortune and saying something like, hey, it's all good, or comparing your pain to someone else's and deciding you shouldn't grieve. Your pain is your pain. Recognize it rather than ignore it. Recently, I was going through a difficult situation with someone with my, in my family, and I was talking to a friend about how upset I was. And then I did what I normally do. I started beating myself up and said, I know I have a lot to be grateful for. I know things could be worse. And my friend said, yeah, it could be worse. But years ago, when my husband died and I was afraid I was complaining too much and I was stuck in self-pity, you reminded me, my pain is my pain. Acknowledging the hurt, grieving was the only way I was going to get to accepting what had happened. Don't you just love it when someone throws your words back at you? But she was right. My pain was my pain and it was real. And I wasn't to wallow or dwell in it. I needed to acknowledge it, give myself time to grieve, and time to heal. While some people might think I'm stuck in pity, I know that's what healthy grieving looks like.